In lesson 20, we're going to be dealing with showing you how to change case and to work with the document properties. The objectives are exactly the same as the title. We're going to show you how to change the case of existing text, things like all caps, um, initial caps, capitalizing the first letter of each word, or if you want to make everything lowercase. And then document properties. Document properties gives you the ability to see who created the document, who edited the document, who saved it last, things along those lines. In this lesson, we're going to be starting from a blank file. So go ahead and open up Word and get yourself to a blank document. We're going to save this blank file. to our documents folder creating a new folder with today's date and the file name will be W20 try with your initials On my keyboard, I'm going to press my caps lock key. And with my caps lock key turned on, I'm going to type in my name. Pressing the enter key. And now I'm going to turn off my caps lock key. I now want to type in a sentence. Microsoft Word. 2013 provides many features that make it easy to create professional documents. I'm going to correct my spelling. Alright, let's take a look at some ways that we can modify our case. Selecting my name that is currently in all caps. I can come up here to the ribbon to this big A little a. This is my change case button. Here I could choose if I wanted to lowercase and that would make all of my text that is selected lowercase. I also could change this to capitalize each word, which for my name, that's what I'm looking for. I want to use the capitalize each word option. Selecting the actual sentence I typed, I can come up here and I could also use what is called sentence case. What sentence case does, actually let me change first to lowercase, so everything is now lowercase letters. If I now switch, notice Microsoft is a small m, if I choose to sentence case, you will now notice that Microsoft is now capitalized and everything else in the sentence that's selected is lowercase letters. Now, and the only problem with this is Microsoft Word, in this case, is a proper noun. So I would want to capitalize Word here. So I would choose to capitalize each word with that selected. The blue line's just because I got two spaces in there. I need to get rid of that. Now I'll get rid of that blue line. The last thing we want to look at with this particular document is we want to look at the document properties. To view the properties, we click on the file menu. This is called the backstage view. I haven't used that term often, but you may very likely see that on the test where it says go to the backstage view. And if they say that, what they're saying is click on that file menu. Here in the backstage view, we have the choice of being able to choose several different things but here on the info tab which is where we're at currently we've got our document properties 
our documented properties appear over here on the right hand side. You can see that the person who created this document was myself and I'm also the last person who edited it. You can also see the last person, or excuse me, you can see how long this document has been worked on. So in this case, it's been worked on for four minutes. Now, from time to time, you will be asked to add properties to the document. So for example, I want to add um, a title to this document. Where it says title, I can click here and I can add in the title of Learning Word 2013. So that'll add a title to my document. This is my title property. There are some other properties that are not currently visible. To view all the properties that are available, actually this is a bit of a misnomer. This does show most of the properties, but there are a few that even with this turned on are still not visible. So clicking on the show all properties, it will give me a few more properties that I might want to add some information on. So here where it says subject, I might type in changing case. So for the subject property, I might add the text changing case. For the company, we're going to go ahead and put in RBMA. Status will say in progress. The properties that I have seen show up on the test fairly regularly are the title property, the comments property, status, subject, and it's been a long time, but even company. So these are the properties that I would fully expect to see showing up on the certification exam. You may get asked a different property other than those, but those are the ones that I have seen in the past and the ones that you should be aware of and potentially want to change. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and save my work. Coming over here to the left hand side, I'm going to save my work. That saves not only the text here, but it also saves the settings in my document properties. If you're asked to print the document properties, you can do so by going to File, Print. This is how I would print the document. But if I want, I can come over here to where it says Settings and coming down here, there is an option that says Document Info. That's a list of properties such as file name, author, etc. If I were to click print right now, that would print my document properties for this particular activity. I do not wish you to print this file out. I just wanted to show you how you could print the document properties if you were asked to do so. I'm going to go ahead and click the back button up here to get out of that print option. That does bring us to the end of this lesson, a relatively short lesson. In this lesson, we did take a look at this Change Case button, and we took a look at File Properties, which is part of this Backstage view. In this lesson, we showed you how to change the case of existing text, and we also showed you how to manage the various document properties of our document.